but he's doing now a final run to confirm everything. I would say let's check it out. Guys, welcome back to the next episode of Race Ship Insights with our i20N. I think the last time you saw the car, it looked pretty stock. I think it had wheels and um, lowering kit already installed. Now it's completely wrapped. Um, it looks really, really awesome. Design and wrap um, has been done by the company called Schwabenfolia, which is really, really close to us. Yeah, as, as I said, the car looks really, 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 really beautiful. So in this episode, um, we're going to talk mainly about the tuning because we had an episode about the stock car already with Dino and everything. So if you missed that, have a look in our playlist um, or we do an annotation somewhere here so you can click on it. Um, yeah, of course, we're going to show you uh, the results with the tune on our Dino and 100 to 200 in this episode. So enough of that. Now you're going to see some really, really beautiful shots of our i20N. So one of my colleagues is doing now the final run with the i20N. Um, of course, we have the performance figures already, but he's doing now a final run to confirm everything. I would say let's check it out. So tuning i20N. I would like to mention first that, yeah, I mean, the this engine size, 1.6 and 150 kilowatts, so 204 horsepower is already known all over the Hyundai Kia brands. However, in the i20N, the engine is completely new. Technology is called SmartStream. And that is the reason why we need new plugs because there are different sensors compared to the predecessor um, and the already known 1.6. So this one is brand new. Hence, we don't have the plugs for it and we have to produce our own mold to get the plugs. In this car, it is a prototype, but the installation will be really, really easy as soon as we get the plugs. But this is going to take some time. As I mentioned, we have to produce the mold, which is going to take some time. Um, I would guess around February next year, unfortunately. And one more point I would like to mention, it always looks pretty easy. Um, in the, in the videos we are snapping with the fingers and basically the product or the tuning is done, which is not the case. Um, usually a development takes roughly around one to two weeks, um, sometimes a little bit faster, sometimes it takes a little bit longer, um, but we are setting up everything on our dyno and on the street, um, perfect for that engine, so you don't have to do anything and the product works perfect immediately from the start. And after talking, let's walk over to the screen. 242 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. Um, as always, thick line is tuned, thin line is stock. Red horsepower, orange torque, blue wheel horsepower. Um, really, really awesome torque gain all over the RPM range, which is really, really cool um, on the newer engines from Hyundai and Kia. You have all the torque all over the RPM range. Um, on the, on the um, previous engines like the I30 and pre facelift you had a huge torque bump at the top and it dropped down in higher RPM situations already in stock, but that is not the case for the I30 and facelift and the I20 and which is really, really cool. Great job by Hyundai um, for, for, for improving that on the stock car already. Yeah, I'm really, really excited um, for the 100, 200 times. So let's go to the old one.
i20n is a great car and a lot of fun to drive. The increase in performance is noticeable and gives a nice little extra kick. At the same time, it helps to reduce the turbo lag in low RPM situations. Hyundai did it again and developed a great car. In my humble opinion, the best in its class if you consider all factors. Sad news, unfortunately it is going to take some time until our product will be released due to the missing male and female plugs. Of course we will let you know as soon as the product is available. If you don't want to miss any of our future videos, you can subscribe to our channel here and down below you can see some of our last videos.